O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Our Lord, the path of suffering trod, and since his blood for man has flowed, Tis meet that man should yield to God the life he owes, alleluia. No shame to own the crucified, nay, tis our immortality that we confess our God who died and for him die, alleluia. Beholding his predestined crown, into death's arms the martyr goes, dying he conquers death o'erthrown, o throws his foes, alleluia. Lord, make us your own soldiers true, grant us brave faith, a spirit pure, that for your name your cross in view, we may endure, alleluia. The Lord will give victory to his anointed one. May the Lord answer in time of trial. May the name of Jacob's God protect you. May he send you help from his shrine. And give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and receive your sacrifice with favour. May he give you your heart's desire and fulfil every one of your plans. May we ring out our joy, your victory and rejoice in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your prayers. I am sure now that the Lord will give victory to his anointed, will reply from his holy heaven with the mighty victory of his hand. Some trust in chariots or horses, But we, in the name of the Lord, they will collapse and fall, but we shall hold and stand firm. Give victory to the King, O Lord, give answer on the day we call. To the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, Give praise for every man. The Lord will give victory to his anointed one. We shall sing and praise your power. O Lord, your strength gives joy to the King. How your saving help makes him glad. You have granted him his heart's desire. You have not refused the prayer of his lips. You came to meet him with the blessings of success. You have set on his head a crown of pure gold. He asked you for life, and this you have given. Days that will last from age to age. Your saving help has given him glory. You have laid upon him majesty and splendor. 
You have granted your blessings to him forever. You have made him rejoice with the joy of your presence. The king has put his trust in the Lord. Through the mercy of the Most High, he shall stand firm. O Lord, arise in your strength. You shall sing and praise your power. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. We shall sing and praise your power. Lord, you made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power, for you created all things and by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed men for God, from every tribe and tongue, and people and nation. You have made us a kingdom, and priests to our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain, to receive power and wealth, and wisdom and might, and honour and glory and blessing. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, you made us a kingdom, and priests to serve our God. My dear people, if you can have some share in the sufferings of Christ, be glad because you will enjoy a much greater gladness when his glory is revealed. It is a blessing for you when they insult you for bearing the name of Christ, as it means that you have the spirit of glory, the spirit of God, resting on you. Rejoice in the Lord, let the just shout for joy. Rejoice in the Lord, let the just shout for joy. Let the upright sing praise. Rejoice in the Lord. Let the just shout for joy. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice in the Lord. Let the just shout for joy. The saints who followed in the footsteps of Christ rejoice in heaven. They gave their life for love of Christ. Therefore, they will reign with him forever. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in a lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is name. His mercy is from age to age. On those who fear him. He pours for his arm in strength. And scared as the proud hearted, he casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lonely. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects his really servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, 
both now and forever, world without end. The saints who followed in the footsteps of Christ rejoice in heaven. They gave their life for love of Christ. Therefore, they will reign with him forever. Let us give thanks to the King of Martyrs, for this is the hour when he offered himself in the Last Supper and laid down his life on the cross. We praise you, Christ the Lord. We praise you, Christ our Saviour, example and strength of the martyrs, because you have loved us to the end. We praise you, Christ the Lord, because you have promised repentant sinners the reward of eternal life. We praise you, Christ the Lord, because you have called the church to offer the blood of the new and eternal covenant, the blood shed for the remission of sins. We praise you, Christ the Lord, because you have brought us to this day with the gift of faith intact. We praise you, Christ the Lord, because of the many brothers who today have come to share in your saving death. We praise you, Christ the Lord, at the Saviour's command, and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, source of strength to all the saints, you called your martyrs Paul and his companions, to undergo the cross that they may enter into life. Let their prayer help us to keep the faith to the end of our days. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.